Hello, Taurus. Guess what time it is for your mid-June to July reading of this current year. How you doing today? I hope you're doing well. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if this doesn't resonate with you, don't worry about it. Because, you know, it's just a card game. Like, don't get upset. It happens, man. We're going to see what's going on for you for now until the beginning of next month. Right? Right. So, here we go. I also got the new my new deck, the Vice Versa deck. I'm so fucking happy. I like them. They make my brain go with things. Not sure what to do with the two of pentacles reverse. What you're wanting and wishing for is to plant a flower in the desert and hope it'll work. Uh, the moon in the fears and rejections. Lovers reverse in the situation. The alien or the hermit in traditional sense um, in the obstacles and challenges coming against you. Three of cups in the catalyst as well as the final result. What started this and what will end it. With the beginning theme being the sun reverse. Not feeling in sync with yourself for the most part. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. I can't tell if you're getting depressed or if you're trying to come out of like some sort of funk where you had to think for a bit. Or if you're dealing with a, 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 a Virgo who's doing like cunning shit. Hmm. It's like you really don't know what to do. You just want to have fun, I think. That's all you guys care about, is having a good time. You could also be dealing with a Gemini, Cancer, or Pisces. Yes, yes. Alright, so this two of pentacles, right? Oh. Okay, we get the Knight of Swords, Reverse, and the Devil. I feel like someone is getting counseled in the background, and I actually looked up this one because I was kind of confused, and it's like, yeah, okay, someone's actually facing their dark shit. So yeah, it's like people, like either a couple's getting counseled, or people are trying to get some sort of counsel in order to fix their um, bad stuff. But the, this somebody's got their back turned when it comes to like um, fighting for whatever. Like, he's just... I think that's water? No, those are mountains. Those are mountains. Like, he's floating over mountains, right? Looking like he's ready to attack. In this way, viciously. But this way, is just like... He's just in the mountains, like, screaming like a Super Saiyan. Waiting for someone to come start something. But he's just literally got his back turned to it. All of it. It's just like... It's almost like in this counseling session, someone like puts up a front like they don't want to fight, but they really do. Here, got the three of wands, three of swords, and the ten of wands reverse. Reverse. Hmm. They need to make a choice, but if they're going to keep, like... They could either go this way with this one that's not on fire, like this thing, because he's had a hold of it for a minute. Like, it's starting to catch on fire. Yeah, they need to go this way with this new wand. And just leave these other two alone, because, like, right here, it's just kind of like... He's just looking over, he's just like, I can't believe my shield got stabbed. This is the Three of Swords, mind you. Ah, uh, the front of it's pretty interesting. But here it's like this person is looking back on all of this, just being like, I, I don't know if I, I can keep sitting here forever because it's really dragging me down, keeping me to the point where like, I'm about to turn to stone just like this dude before me. Like, I feel like a fucking rock, you know, poor person. Let's see, two of pentacles.
And someone needs to make a decision because it's just like they need to leave town because people are chasing the ass. <laughs> like whoever, like there needs to be a decision made because people are coming after this dude. It's like he stole all the money. <laughs> He's been hitting people with the stick, with the wreath on, just being like, I'm the captain now. And people are like, no, you are not. And they just ran him out of town. And this person tried to come for a victory and it was denied. You got the lovers reverse in the situation. Could be with a Gemini, doesn't have to be. Um, could be with a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, but she's a woman scorned. She is very much like, I have been betrayed! You know, like, re ready to just harm anybody in this. Ready to fight for whatever. She might be the one chasing dude out of town, honestly. And that's why someone's trying to figure out what to do. We have the Seven of Pentacles and the Wants and Wishes. Wanting to make a small investment and hope for the future that will actually come out in your favor. Maybe this flower will actually produce a garden in this desert and you can start making life somewhere. It'll take a lot of work, a lot of energy. But you're wanting and wishing for that, Taurus. You want to invest in something. If not yourself, then some sort of legacy, I feel like. Oh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You want to invest in love. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that is so sweet. Look at you, just offering your cup up. You want to offer your cup. I just don't know if it's a good idea with this person. Because there's a breakup and there's a lot of aggravation. It could be a fire sign that's running away from you too. You know. And we got the alien. Reverse. Could be a Virgo in this. Uh, <laughs> they are in total zombie mode when it comes to their wants and wishes. It's like they're... Like, this dude's eyeballs are so fucking crazy in this, you know? If you can see his eye, if I can get this right. Like, look at it. It's like he doesn't have any pupils. It's, like, really creepy. It's like his wants and wishes is blinded him. And they're almost completely isolating themselves because of that. That's why they're in the wa in the swamp of getting ready to drown. Because they don't have any friends. Because they keep, like, I don't know. Like, they're so blinded by wants and wishes. Easily enough. They, like, they don't see that these these cups are just leading him into situations where he's getting deeper and deeper into the swamp. He could still get out, though, but it's like, uh. You might want to think about that, Taurus, because, like, this dude is total zombie-like. Don't let your dreams become, like, an obsession. Um, the moon called. Could be a cancer, could be Pisces. It also could be who you're investing into. Um, there are illusions and secrets. And I feel like you've been sitting here waiting to see what happens. And you're getting sick of waiting. It's just like, what is the fucking secret? Like, is it bad? Are you going to tell me? Do you expect me to keep waiting? Like, come on, spit it out. I feel like you have a fear about that, but you're getting really sick of like being afraid of it. Like your anger's starting to get to you a little bit. It's just like, you know, I make everyone else late, sure, but like someone should at least be on time with me. <laughs> Let's see, three cups. I think you just want to have a good time. You want to have a good time. You want to get. You want champagne poured all over you like you're a superstar, just so you can chill and relax and just be like, look at me. It's really Fanta mixed with like sparkling water. You know, just feeling all fancy and shit off of just little stuff. You know, like I know that was a weird description, but it happens. Hmm. I want to have a good time. I like. It's just like, no matter how much you want to have a good time, it's like you end up taking care of somebody who you're starting to resent. 
This is the Empress right here. She is a caretaker, and I think that she is taking care of people, but it's like, it, you're starting to get really frustrated. It's just like, how many times am I supposed to fucking help you? Like, why do I keep helping you? <laughs> yeah, someone's definitely looking over their emotions and realizing they're kind of stuck behind some swords just staring at it, just being like, I don't have no idea how to get out of here. Like, they can see the daytime over here and they want to escape, but here it's like they can't see it. So it's just kind of like, you know, I don't know how to get out of this. And you're trying to use your emotions to help you figure that out. And it's like, you just want to walk away and work on stuff that's important to you. Like, almost hone your craft of sorts. Hold on, my card's almost slimmed out of my pants. That's horrible. But yeah, it, it's just kind of like, um... Like, you're done putting up an, a battle. Like, this way, these dudes are just going into the fray. That's actually really cool. They're going up a volcano, right? This could be volcanoes of doom. That's <laughs> a disaster. But here, they're leaving the volcano. But I don't think that they actually were as victorious as they believed they were. But they still left. So now they're just going to, like, retire and become a monk and a craftsman. It's just like, you know what? Like, let's be done with all this fighting and go do something a little more calm. I think I've gotten my youth out of me. And there just might be a bad judgment call all around with everybody. Wait. Oh no, this is temperance. This is temperance. This is temperance. Um. So this is temperance reverse. Uh, I don't know if I call it reverse. I probably just call it backwards. It's like. Hmm. Someone's really losing their patience because they don't feel secure in themselves because of what's going on. I feel like a lot with this, too, because it's just like, you guys are definitely losing a lot of patience in this, it seems like. We got the lovers reverse reverse again. Not only is it over, it's over for um, very, very bitter, petty things. It's like the separation is probably better for you and whoever it is. Nothing romantic like it doesn't have to be, but still, it's just like, hmm. It's like you were both too much in the dark to actually, like, end things off in an amicable way, I'd say. What is the second card? Could be you. Taurus, that is your card. The Hierophant. You might be trying to be doing some teaching work or like mentoring other people. Letting them know that you see a higher perspective that they do not. To the point where, like, one dude's holding the candle and it's obvious that there are lights on in the fucking building, but I guess they needed to read the book really close. I'm not sure, but that's what they're doing. What's the last one? I have to say, I really like these cards. I feel like you also think that you're in the right Taurus. This is you. I really feel this way, and the person you're dealing with is just aggravating you and you're trying to keep calm but it's just like uh, I'm about to lose my shit Queen of Pentacles she's just turn you're just you're basically just turning your back on this whole thing you're just like you know I'm just gonna pretend that this never happened <laughs> even though I don't want to Like this could be like both of these could be you tours and you could just be getting out of this relationship but that was terrible for you and you know this because you feel like you do have morals I'm not saying that you don't but you're definitely feeling like you are the one who is um I got like you gotta teach somebody a thing or two and then you're just gonna leave it's gonna be like I taught you what I need to teach you goodbye you know so that's your reading Taurus um, thank you for watching the video. If you would like a 
personal reading, hit me up in my email below. I don't charge, but I take tips and donations if you so choose. You may like, share, and subscribe if you choose. Um, there's something else I was going to say, and I just totally, like, lost it. Mm. God damn it. Anyway, you guys have a good day. I will see you later. Be good, or at least be good at it. Because that's important. Alright, love yous. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.